Glaucoma is the world's leading cause of irreversible vision loss. Despite this, there are a multitude of treatments, conservative to aggressive, that can be performed in order to help preserve vision and really prevent any vision loss. These are discussions that we can have here in the office, including the use of drops, lasers, minimally invasive glaucoma surgeries, and in rare, rare circumstances, actual glaucoma surgeries. Today we'll talk about the majority cases of glaucoma in which we can easily treat and help prevent vision loss with simple drops or laser. Medicine in drop form has been the traditional method of treating glaucoma. In glaucoma, elevation in eye pressure has been known as the ultimate cause for progressive loss of vision. Since the 1950s and beyond, we have used varieties of medicines in drop form uh, to help lower one's eye pressure and help save vision. Drops can include nightly, twice a day, or three times a day drops. These medicines are prescribed by the physician, but in order to be helpful, they need to be used faithfully daily by the patient. Drops are covered for by insurance, but they do take some commitment and uh, discipline to instill them on a daily basis. It is with only daily treatment, regular faithful use of these medicines, that we can truly help lower pressure and ultimately save vision. Side effects from drops, some patients may complain about uh, irritation or stinging when the drops enter the eye, redness, uh, or occasional intermittent blurring of vision. But for the vast majority of patients, uh, they do get used to this and will be able to take these drops long term. Again, the vast majority of my patients are able to be well controlled and help preserve their vision with simple daily drop therapy. In the past 20 years, advent of new minimally invasive procedures to achieve the same goal, lowering of eye pressure, have been developed, including SLT, also known as Selective Laser Trabeculoplasty. This is a simple in-office procedure a patient can have performed that does not require anesthesia, that is relatively painless, and for a large majority of patients can be effective as an early first step in treating and lowering their eye pressures. Most SLT laser procedures are covered for by insurance companies and for those patients especially who have difficulty with drops so far as irritation, discomfort, compliance or forgetting to take their drops, this can be effective first step in controlling their glaucoma and ultimately saving their vision. Thank you, you can sit back. Well, it does seem that there is some very early glaucoma, very mild glaucoma. Given your youth, healthy lady, but still very physically active and busy, I think a glaucoma laser procedure like SLT is an appropriate option for you. It's a quick procedure, takes two minutes to perform, painless, you can drive yourself to and from your appointment. All I ask is that we maintain close contact. Uh, this is not a procedure that I can perform and then have you come back a year later. We want to make sure that we can maintain close contact, regular follow-up. Regular follow-up is key. What does the laser do? The laser works on the drainage system within the eye. The theory of glaucoma is that the drainage system, think of it as a tight sieve, the drainage system clogs up over time. And the point of the laser is to apply energy to the drain to open up that sieve, to allow the fluid in the eye to more easily exit, hence lowering the pressure. If my pressure should go back up, can I get another laser? Yes, the laser can be repeated. Typically, if the laser has worked well the first time, it can be repeated in the future, though there are limitations to the effect and the number of times that the laser can be done. 
if your eye pressures were to misbehave, in other words, to climb up beyond a level of safety, then we will have a conversation about beginning a glaucoma drop. Does a laser affect my vision? No. Rest assured that yes, some patients may have some blurring of vision the first day after the procedure. That is typically rare and resolves well on its own. Again, it's a well-tolerated procedure, uh, which is performed on young people to elder adults. And I feel that regardless of your decision, whether to proceed with a laser or to begin you on drops, I think we can safely manage your glaucoma and help protect your vision. Whether we decide to begin with drops or laser, it remains imperative that we maintain close follow-up with the patient, and that means regular office visits, typically every four to six months, to ensure that your eye pressures remain in a safe and healthy range, thus helping protect and preserve your vision.